Hi, I'm Evie Kim Singh. I'm here on day one of Identity Week 2022. I'm joined now by Carrie O'Connor College uh, from Autontics. Um, could you tell me about the technology you're developing at the moment? Sure, so Authentics has been in the business of identity verification actually for over a decade. And so we not only verify that someone is who they say they are, but we verify that they should have access to the things that they want to have access to. We're fully automated, completely global, and we make these decisions in eight seconds or less, which is really what's been differentiating for us. Brilliant. Um, how important are these events like Identity Week to launching and um, enhancing these solutions for you? Yeah, well, this is my first time at Identity Week, and I have to say it's um, been quite enjoyable. Um, Evie, I've, I think this is a conversation that we need to be having on a global scale. Um, it's happening a lot in the media, it's happening within governments, it's happening within the private sector. and. In order to solve um, fraud within our society and also to in, to make sure that you are who you say you are, whether it's in the physical realm or in the online space, we need to be elevating the dialogue amongst us. And I think it's been really exciting to see that happening here today. I'm wondering, do you see digital ID technologies replacing maybe physical documents uh, like physical passports? And f You know, I think it's a long journey. Um, you know, where we've just started this discussion, and I do think that they will coexist for a while. Um, you can see different different approaches by different governments, whether it's in Singapore or it's in Australia or in the UK or Canada, all of them are at different places of completely replacing the the paper, the physical ID. And so my sense is it's going to coexist for a while, but I do think we're moving to a world where there's much more efficient and seamless ways in order to verify that somebody is who they say they are in the context of what they're trying to do, um, be it biometric, uh, be it a government check, being it, you know, um, ACH check. So I think there's a lot ahead of us. And what is the future for identity in general? Where is the industry heading? Yeah, it's a big question. I mean, that's part of the discussion here. Um, I'm a fundamental believer that um, self-sovereign identity is on the horizon. I think, unfortunately, unfortunately, the pandemic has really accelerated this notion of how do we design for privacy um, and how do we ensure that you and I can control our own information. And that has happened because of blockchain and verifiable credentials really hitting the mainstream as technologies that allow us to share signals about ourselves but not necessarily our data. Um, so I do think we're going to be living in a world where the private and the public sector come together and respecting the individual and their identity and what that stands for will be front and center. Thanks Carrie. It was a pleasure. Thank you.